I'm going to show how to solve nonlinear equations. We have a set of nonlinear equations. We're going to use Excel Solver. And so in the box here on the right shows the equations and the parameters. So three equations, YAP equals XAPA set. These, these two plus XA plus XB equals one. And then in this equation, we're going to substitute PA set. And here's the expression for PA set. So our unknowns are temperature here, XA and XB. And we're given YA, YB, and pressure. So we've entered in the spreadsheet the known values. And then our unknowns where we make initial guesses. So these are our initial guesses. We have an equation that calculates PA sat and PB sat at this temperature. And then what we'll do with these equations is we'll rearrange them slightly and put everything on one side of the equation. So this equation becomes one minus XA minus XB. And likewise, these other two equations, we put everything on the right side. So these three boxes are the three equations. And what we want to do is get these numbers close to zero by changing the three yellow cells. So we're going to use solver to carry out the calculation. And that means we go to data, solver. And if you don't have solver installed, you have to go to add-ins and solver. Now I've already put in the values, but let's show we picked as the objective function this cell that's arbitrary. Either of these three could be picked. The other two we just listed as constraints. So we want F6 to be zero, we want F7 to be zero. So we do it by changing the three variables, D8, D9, and D10. And so we hit solve, then we're gonna end up with a solution where XA is 0.25, XB 0.75, and temperature 111. I've listed these to only two significant figures because we only have two significant figures in our original data. But you see solver very quickly at solving nonlinear equations. We could have simplified this, reduced the equations by combining them, but there's no real advantage and it takes time more likely to create errors. So solver works just as well with three equations as with two or one equation. So it makes more sense efficiency just to solve for all three equations. Now in this in the spreadsheet I also list the I copied the solver values just so you can see how we did that. And so solver will work for many more equations than this and more complicated equations. A very effective way to solve nonlinear equations.